Washington, Ms. Delbaney, for one minute. The gentlewoman from Washington is recognized for four minutes. One. One. One minute. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise in strong opposition to H.R. 36, a nationwide 20-week abortion ban. It's truly appalling to me that House leaders keep ignoring the needs of middle-class families while taking up bill after bill restricting women's access to health care, and during National Women's Health Week, no less. The legislation we're debating today is an unconscionable attack that ignores medical safety and puts women's health at risk. It creates unnecessary burdens to care for sexual assault survivors who are already facing extraordinary difficult circumstances, and it injects ideology into the doctor-patient relationship. It puts politicians, rather than women, in charge of their medical care. Madam Speaker, House leaders need to stop interfering in what is a deeply personal medical decision. The American people expect better from this chamber, and they deserve real solutions to the challenges they're facing. This bill fails women and their families, and I urge my colleagues to vote no. And I yield back. The uh, gentlewoman yields back. The gentleman from Michigan reserves. The gentlewoman from Tennessee is recognized. Madam Speaker, it is now my delight to have the Speaker of the House um, John Boehner from Ohio, uh, for as much time as he may consume. The gentleman from Ohio is recognized for one minute. My colleagues, uh, I rise today to urge the whole House to support H.R. Uh, 36, the Pain Capable Unborn Child Protection Act. H.R. 36 is the most pro-life legislation to ever come before this body, and it reflects